Hey guys, Zazia here, and today I will be reviewing and demoing the M. Graham Desert Southwest watercolor set. It comes with five colors, and I really actually like this packaging. Um, it's pretty simple, and I like the little picture that they include here. You can see the colors that they offer. You can pause to read. So similar to the M. Graham Basic watercolor set, it comes with like a slide outer box there, which I keep. This is usually typically shrink wrapped, but again I had already opened it and I've been using the colors already. Alright, let's go over the colors. So the main reasons I chose this set was because I wanted the turquoise and mineral violet. And I'm actually quite pleased with the colors. I Having these n yellow slash brown neutrals, I felt like were unnecess weren't really necessary. <laughs> um, I don't use a lot of these yellows, so if that's that's something you might want to think about if you happen to get these. But they're all beautiful paints and I'll, I'll still use them. It's just I didn't realize because obviously this is my first time buying and using watercolor paint that I didn't quite need all these colors. Alright, here's Indian Yellow. Feel free to pause to read. Let's do the yellows first. Here's Yellow Ochre. And you probably don't need to see the barcodes. <laughs> it's Quin Rust. Quinacrone Rust. I can never say that right. I just say Quin. It's easier. And then here's Turquoise. And then here's Mineral Violet. Alright, let's go ahead and move on to the demo part. Alright, moving on to the demo part of this section. I wanted to apologize for any change in lighting over here. The sun's actually out today and I don't have any other times to record this, so hopefully uh, the lighting won't be too bad. I try to block it off a little bit with like a barrier, but I don't know if it'll actually work. So I'm gonna actually be mixing over here because this is a mess. <laughs> so uh, just briefly talking about this. Uh, this paint kind of got caught, fell into my blue right over here when I shut it and then I try to take it out and it was not pretty obviously and then I started mixing with it and that just spread things out even further so sorry if that was a little messy for you guys alright so on this palette or side of the palette is the M. Graham Desert, Sou Desert Southwest set and it is Indian gold, or sorry, Indian yellow. This is yellow ochre, quin rust, turquoise, and mineral violet. So let's go ahead and start mixing colors. I will be also using uh, water and a rag over here at the top if you can't see. Alright, Indian yellow this guy right here. I actually kind of like this yellow. I don't usually like oranges, but I've been kind of learning to appreciate more saturated kind of yellows. Especially, yeah, since it makes a nice, good, uh, what's the word? Skin, skin tone. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw that. Um, ignore the, the color there. I had to use whiteout 
to because I messed up when I wrote down the pigment information. So it's PUI 110, light fast rating 1, and then it's transparent and staining. <coughs> Excuse me. Then over here is quinacridone rust. PO48. I think it's kind of interesting because it kind of looks like a brown to me rather than an orange. I think that's what PO stands for. I'm not as familiar with pigments, so feel free to let me know if I'm wrong. <laughs> I thought it was kind of interesting that they chose so many kind of yellows, but I guess it makes sense if it's like the desert. So I'm kind of interested in seeing what kind of um, color variations we can get. I don't know if it's more limited because of all the yellows, but we'll see. I actually don't use this set individually as much. I only really picked it, to be honest, because of the mineral violet and the turquoise because I love my jewel tone colors, and I just thought uh, these three yellows were bonuses. So here is yellow ochre, PY43, and this is semi-transparent. Yeah, I could see a little bit of opaqueness here. It looks very similar to Indian Yellow in my opinion. Hmm. At least based on the swatching so far. Hmm. I want to add more to this to see if it changes. Not really. <clears throat> and then let's do mineral violet. Ooh, it's this little guy right in the corner here. So this is pigments PV16, PV15, light fastness of 1, semi-opaque, and granulating. So I think they use this mostly as shadow colors. Nice violet. I know I'm kind of doing this out of order, sorry guys. And then turquoise, which is this huge mess right here. Uh, let's go here for the most uh, pigment because I think I did some mixes over here. So this is PV15 colon 3. Don't know what pigment that is. Oh, and PG7. Um, I love this color. Uh, it's very, I'm sure this is a phthalo. It's very staining, as you can see, like, over here. <laughs> but I love this color. It's super vibrant. So it's transparent and staining, like fast one. I really like yeah, those two colors. Those are nice colors too, but I feel like these two are really similar based off what I'm seeing right now. You know what? That might be... Oh, that whiteout was not pretty. <laughs> I could be wrong. This could be PY150. But I think it's PY110. <laughs> I think I wrote that wrong. Refer to my earlier... Uh, clip when I was showing you the tubes. <laughs> All right, let's do some color mixes. Oh, oops, I didn't plan this right. So I was going to do tr the triad colors, but there's not really many triads. I guess these three. So let's do these three. Yeah, because those those look a lot similar. 
more neutralized kind of cuz yellow and purple do, do neutralize colors. So that makes sense. Let's do turquoise. Sorry, the video cut off. Hopefully you caught that. So this makes like nice blue. This is mineral violet and turquoise right there. And that makes this mix right here. Try mixing these yellows with the turquoise and mineral violet. So, start with medium yellow. Here. This probably neutralizes too. Yep. Yeah, I think these are like, would be great for skin tones if you don't paint desert landscapes, <laughs> which I don't really do. Yep, this makes a green. Probably should have did a side by side comparison against yellow ochre. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. <laughs> so, mineral violet. Maybe because I use more pigment, but this makes a little bit darker mix. Looks like than with the Indian yellow. Now I want to see if I can make it darker here. Yeah, it looks like you can. Yeah, it looks about the same. So, yeah, if you have Indian yellow and yellow ochre, you probably don't need both colors, as far as I can tell so far. Um, at least on the same palette. I think it's interesting. I don't know if I'm missing something in terms of... I guess that's a little bit more vibrant. Uh, more saturated green. Compared to that, that looks a little bit more olive green. This is a little brighter, I think. They're both good colors, but they, they look very similar 
to me. I don't think that's a plus. And having these two colors on the same palette. But maybe I just... Maybe because it's on cellulose paper? This is all hypothetical. I'm just trying to figure out why they would choose two colors, similar colors, to be on this palette. One, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we can mix the yellows. I was like, so that's the turquoise and mineral violet. That one's the mineral violet with Indian yellow. This is mineral violet with the yellow ochre, and then obviously those two mixes. I guess we can do the Quinn Rust so we can actually see the colors, so let's do that, I guess. So we already did that over here, so yeah. Do... Yeah. Oops. I think I might have picked up some turquoise with that. Okay. See, I can see why they pick Quinn Rust, because it's a little darker, so it adds a little bit more value, or adds more values to the colors, so I can see that. get a really dark green here. I like this green. So... Yeah, these are pretty good colors. I like, I like those colors. I do see, like, this is pretty opaque, yeah, in terms of watercolor. So, this may not be a color that you guys might want if you don't like opaque colors. For now, this is okay for me, but it is something to keep in mind if you use a lot of paint. Let's mix the yellows, I suppose. See how that looks. Um, okay, let's do this. Indian yellow. don't see a lot of a difference. I feel like this maybe is a little bit more yellow gold color and this is more a little browner but just like a nudge br of brown versus this one seems a little more brighter than that one in terms of the hue. <laughs> that makes sense. Alright and then let's do Quinn rest with Indian yellow and that's a dulled down version of yellow or of Quinn rust. It's a nice color. I like that. That would be a nice skin tone color. Alright, let's do yellow ochre and That shouldn't have been there. <laughs>
open the rest of that? Nope. Maybe. Okay. Sorry, hope you didn't miss much. Um, just a quick review. This is Indian Yellow with Quinn Rust, and then this is. I said Indian Yellow. Indian Yellow, and then this is Yellow Ogre with Quinn Rust. I'm getting a little confused with the yellows. <laughs> so I kind of think that this one is darker than this. I think feel like this is a nice skin tone color. I really like that. This is nice too, but. Maybe we could tint it out. It would be a nice skin tone color. Oh, yep, definitely. This is a little more gold yellow though. This one's more redder pink color. Those are both good colors to use for skin tones. So, if you like painting skin tones, these colors might be useful in addition to other colors besides this set. I feel like you probably need more reds to get the colors you want and blues obviously uh yeah let's see if I can mix mix brown or gray I don't know what it'll make but let's take this color and mix it with these and see how that looks hmm how am I gonna do that oh Interesting. Okay, sorry. I just realized I could probably take, mix these. Okay, sorry. My brain sometimes works weirdly faster than my my mouth. <laughs> Is anyone else like that? <laughs> Let me know. Okay, so let's do a blue. Uh, okay, so I'm running out of space here. Do this little corner right here. Alright, so we need that blue. the dots here and start with yellow ochre oh, let's start from here yep that makes a black almost black gray it's kind of purple gray blue interesting I like it I didn't know you could get that deep of a color. Okay, let's try Indian Yellow. Interesting. That makes a little bit more green. Okay, so maybe this is where the colors vary and why they chose these colors when Yellow Ochre and Indian yellow looks so similar. Yeah, this is definitely more green. Okay. That's interesting. Did not know that. Look, we're learning together. I hope you guys don't mind my mumbling aloud here. Okay, let's do Quinn Rust. Now this should be pretty dark. Well. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, this one seems a little more purpley. But it could be because I did not mix it right. Mm. This one just kind of looks muddy to me. Not as clean of a neutral color in my opinion. More kind of brown purple. <laughs> yeah, that sounds attractive. So yeah, those are the kind of neutrals you'll get with these colors. Not exactly super appealing. See what other colors we could probably try to mix. I'm not sure. Okay, so it's the purple that's granulating here. Yeah, I'm just sorry, I was just looking at these swatches and I thought some of it might be peeling, but I think it's granulation too. I'm not good at using granulation. <laughs> well, Crin Rust has a little bit of the peeling there. I don't know. I think that's all I can think of for mixes. Yeah, I really like these colors here. Mineral Violet, I don't know if I like it enough if I would keep it on my palette. I like it, but I think I would want a cleaner yellow, or cleaner purple. Um, I would want it more transparent than what it looks like. I didn't know this when I bought the set. I only picked it because of the colors and it was on sale. <laughs> so, it's kind of how it works for me, just end it like with all the sets that I've bought over here. It's mostly because I wanted to try them and they might have been on sale. I don't think the Daniel Smith set was, but I haven't gotten to that one yet. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much all I could think of right now for color mixes. Let me know if I missed any color mixes. If you like these colors, if you like the set, if I'm missing something about this set, <laughs> I feel like I am. <laughs> um, yeah, so I appreciate you guys watching. I hope this is helpful for you guys. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe if this is something what you guys like to see. It gives me a better idea of what type of videos to make. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!